What's up? It is so good to be back in my kitchen cooking. I today am going to be walking you through one of my current favorite dishes. It is a chicken cacciatore that's sort of like not a traditional chicken cacciatore. As a kid, I was like a super picky eater. So textures, like I was a kid who didn't eat mashed potatoes. Who, who does that? I really only ate boneless, skinless chicken breast. That's insane. Now as an adult, I love chicken thigh. Uh, and I love a well-braised, juicy, texture, folly party chicken thigh. And so this dish really is a good walkthrough about braising and also just in general, it's really, really delicious. So whenever I start prepping any vegetables, I always put a wet paper towel under my cutting board and I always have at least two bowls around. One is for the ingredients, one is for trash. This is sort of my standard prep station setup. So I start by slicing two bell peppers into large slivers. There are a couple different ways going around to do this. I will often just cut off the top, put the flat end down, and then slice off the cheeks, sort of the meat of the bell pepper. From there, it's easy to slice them into strips and then cut them in half to get my sort of slivers that I want. I like to use four garlic cloves when I make this. You could use more, you could use less. This seems to be like the perfect amount that we like. We like it pretty garlicky and I'm going to mince this fine and that gives you a little bit more of the garlic flavor. All right, with our garlic mince, we can move on to the onion. For the onion, I like to take the top off and cut it in half. I'm just gonna use half the onion today. This is just a yellow onion. I like it more than a sweet onion in a sauce like this. So I've got it cut in half. I am going to just run my knife through and get nice, large slivers. These pieces are big. They are going to break down in the sauce, but they're gonna give it a little bit of texture and a little bit of body. All of these vegetables are gonna help us build a really delicious base for our chicken to braise in. My version of chicken cacciatore is definitely not traditional. At the end of the cook, I break the chicken into little pieces so it incorporates into the sauce. This makes it easier to eat and you can just mix your pasta straight in rather than having your pasta on the plate and your chicken next to it. For that reason, I make this with boneless skinless chicken thigh. You could totally make this with bone and skin on. I'm just not a fan of chicken skin in a braise like this. It sort of turns rubbery and with it being boneless, I can break the chicken down in the pot without having to fish out the bones at the end. So deboning a chicken thigh is really simple. There is one single bone in a chicken thigh. You can start by making little incisions up along the bone, basically vertically with the bone. You're gonna cut to the side of it on both sides. Sometimes there are some tendons that are connecting the bone to the meat. So you're gonna wanna slice those. Once you've got enough of the bone available to get your knife behind, you're basically just gonna pull the bone up and make more of those small incisions. Just slicing and slicing until the bone starts to come away from the meat. Then you can really cut it away and remove it from the meat. This isn't perfect. There are people who can do it much better than I can and get the bone off completely with no meat attached. This is just how I do it. It's easy, it's simple, it's not very difficult to do. And then to remove the skin, uh, you can basically just pull it off with your hands. There may be some, some little bits of fat connecting the skin to the meat. Just cut those away if you, uh, if you don't want them. And uh, pull the skin off and there you go. You got boneless, skinless chicken thigh. Now that all of our chicken has been deboned and de-skinned, I'm just gonna season both sides heavily with salt and pepper. And we can just set those aside while we preheat a Dutch oven over medium heat. Our first step to the actual cook is to brown the chicken thigh. So once the pan is nice and hot, add a layer of olive oil and then put your chicken on it. Just let it sit. And once it's browned, uh, maybe four or five minutes, you can flip it. Let it get a little brown on the other side and we'll take it out. We don't need this to be fully cooked yet. We are just looking for a little bit of color on the outside. Once your chicken is nice and golden on both sides, we can take it out and let it rest in a bowl. And we are going to add our vegetables, the onions and the bell peppers, straight to that chicken fat and olive oil. Make sure that's at the bottom. You'll see me season the vegetables as well with salt and pepper. I like to season every step of the cooking process. That way I don't have to play catch up at the end. You can always add extra salt at the end, so don't be too heavy here. We just wanna make sure that everything is nice and seasoned. So let these vegetables cook and sweat over medium heat until the onions turn translucent, and then we can add the garlic, let that cook for about a minute, and then I'm gonna squeeze in about a tablespoon of tomato paste. And I'm gonna let that fry for about a minute or two until the color darkens and the flavor deepens a little bit. At this point, we're gonna add a pinch of chili flake. My Uncle Tony makes a really good smoked jalapeno powder, so I'm using that. If you've got an Uncle Tony who makes jalapeno powder, use it. If not, just use chili flake. Now I'm gonna add my tomato product. This could be crushed tomatoes. This could be tomato sauce. I am going to be using whole peeled tomatoes and I'm gonna hand crush them. This is just a 14 ounce can. Along with the tomatoes, I'm gonna to fill the can up fully with water. So we'll get 14 ounces of water in that to get us 28 ounces of liquid. I can also add the chicken back with all of the juices that came out from it resting. 
For the seasoning, I almost always do this by eye. I'm gonna add some onion powder, some garlic powder. And this is a combination of Italian seasonings. It could be dried basil, oregano, thyme. Uh, if they were fresh, I would put them at the end, but they're fine now. I'm gonna add a little bit more of a different chili flake, just classic red pepper flake. With almost every type of sauce I make, this chicken powder goes in. Again, it's sort of just MSG chicken powder, it's great. Once we've got all of our seasonings in, we can just let this ride on medium low for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. What we're looking for is the meat to get tender and to be able to be pulled apart, but not completely dissolving, not turning into like chicken strands. We're just looking for a tender, delicious chicken. The sauce is gonna reduce a little bit and we're just gonna let it go. After about 30 minutes, I'm gonna get a big pot of water up to the boil. I'm gonna check on the tenderness of the chicken as well. We're looking pretty good. It's not perfect yet. I'm just gonna put the lid on so the sauce doesn't reduce by too much while the pasta cooks. This is a whole one pound box of penne going into the salted water. We're just gonna cook it to the lowest time on the box. Once the pasta is done, we can drain it and just put it on the stove in the same pot with the lid on to keep it warm while we finish up the sauce. I'm gonna taste the chicken for tenderness and flavor. It's tender, it's juicy, it's falling apart, so I'm loving it. I am going to let the sauce reduce a little bit more and we're just gonna cook off a little bit of that final liquid that's in there. Now that the chicken is tender, we can just stir it heavily uh, with a wooden spoon and that's gonna break it apart enough uh, for it to be in little pieces. So we don't need to go too rough, we don't need to break it down too small, but just this stirring is gonna be enough. With all of our chicken broken down and the sauce to the thickness that I like, we can just take this off the heat and mix them together. My noodles definitely got stuck together because I had to move camera angles, but that's all right. We can just dump all of the noodles into the sauce. This is so simple. This is where I think my chicken cacciatore differs from a traditional one. You can just put everything into the one pot, mix it all up together. I always like to add a little Parmesan cheese to this and then taste it. I think I maybe added a little more salt, but usually it's pretty spot on. So get yourself a nice bowl full, add a little bit of cheese on top, and I wanted to try something new. So you get to see my wife, Megan Kay, and I together eating this. So hope you enjoy. It's really delicious. The chicken thigh is good. This is like the best use of chicken thigh. Like you don't like it when we make a pan seared chicken thigh. It, it's just like fatty. But I really like it on its own. It's like heavy. Yeah, this is like unctuous, as mm. the kids say. You ever heard that? You ever, use, you ever use the word unctuous before? I don't think anyone is saying that. What would you, if you didn't know what that word means, what would you use it for? Wasn't like Unk or DJ Unk or something like a popular. Which sounds like a Mississippi DJ. Yeah, I mean, I think it is. That sounds like not a thing in For Texas. anyone who is from Mississippi, can you please All confirm? Mississippi DJ Unk fans, let us know. <laughs> this is our dog. We've never fully introduced her to you guys. So this is Lana. Hey, Lana. Is Boston at your favorite night? Do you like, do you like this chicken cacciatore? You should make this. You should make this. You know what? You will I'm... not have constipation anymore <laughs> if you make this. No. Just know, I recommend it. Lana recommends it, and honestly, her seal of approval is what matters. Is really easy to get. No, that's what matters. Yeah. You see this book, dear? How can you resist? <laughs> honestly, if you want to support this channel, what we're doing, and don't really know how like subscribe always good the coolest thing and what would mean the most to me is just your friends you know that would like this just tell your friends the reception has been sort of blowing me away a lot so far so uh thank you guys peace out <laughs> leave me to